Thank you guys for hanging out with us here on a Sunday, man. You feeling okay? Had a good weekend? Amazing energy. Thank you guys. Uh, please welcome to the stage. You've seen him all over TV. Forget about it. Here comes Adam Ray, everybody. Adam! Adam Ray, you guys! Oh, my God. Fiery Sunday crowd, man. Buddy. Thank you, man. I mean, these people are just loaded with energy. They're out of control. They're you out guys of control. Are, yeah, tone it down or not. Sir, if you could fucking <laughs> stop smiling so much, that'd be awesome. <laughs> you have a ponytail? No. It looks, from this angle, what does that say about me? That I look at you and I go, there's a ponytail back there. Yeah. I agree with you 100%. Yeah, for you got sure. ponytail face. Yeah. Yeah, which is a compliment. Do girls, let me real quick, do girls, what, is, what are our thoughts on the male ponytail? Okay, let's hear the other side. Who loves it? What girl is all about the ponytail? Is there a dude in here right now that has one? There's gotta be, statistically. Come on, bro, be proud of it. I wanna see this. Who's got one? Jerry... Some of you look sucks sexy as fuck. I yeah. just want us to judge you publicly. Yeah, this is us deflecting. We wish we could rock one and have the confidence. I, I, I certainly wish any amount of hair, yes. Well, uh, Adam, what's up, man? What's up? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Great you, to be uh, here, buddy. You uh, so this is a relationship show. Yes. And uh, thank you for doing it. Of um, course. So we're gonna talk about all things relationship. And the first relationship I want to get into is, of course, Israel Palestine. So mm -hmm. your views on that? I'm kidding. I'm just yeah. Kidding. No. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. I was ready. I did a bunch of research. Made a bunch of notes. <laughs> smoked a lot of pot. Oh, we are gonna have some fun, baby. Tell me about the IDF, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was something somebody brought up on a first date, though? Because there are, you know, red flags or, you know, icebreakers that go wrong. But if someone brings up that right out of the gate, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know tough. if that's... It, it could be a tough first date or it could be very, uh, it could be like, okay, we're, we're on the same page. Totally. It, it's, I, I guess, you know, years ago or even maybe even now, it would have been like bringing up like Trump on the first date. You're like, mm. is that, are we good? Are right. we good? Are we going on? Yeah, are we yeah. ordering? Are we leaving? Yep. Right? So my... I know some people who will bring up, like, to them, anal is first base. Do you know what I'm saying? So we're, we're and gonna they'll start. bring it up. Yeah. They'll bring it up right out of the gate. There's yeah. a kid I went to college with who was just notorious for being a, a real uh, sexually promiscuous fella. And he, okay. he thought it was pretty normal to, uh, to get into... Uh... Boy, listen how quiet it is right now while yeah, I'm yeah. talking about that, that, That's the sound of interested. Please proceed. <laughs> I mean, here we are, crowd. I told you we're either going to be hand-holding or anal. Apparently, we're starting right off at anal. Yeah. And, uh, there's only up from here. But is it a... I, I have a two-parter. So, like, is anal a deal-breaker? Guys, by the way, feel free to leave at yeah. any time. This is... <laughs> some of you are like, this is not what we came to see. But, um, you know, but maybe. You don't know. So, is anal a deal-breaker? Like, it's a weird thing to ask for a round of applause, but, like, uh, sir, you're right there. You're looking yeah. at me. You're right there, right? Right? So... Have you, are you a guy, you, you partake in the, not this one, it was excluding present company. Yeah, prior to this, like, what's, uh, what's been your view, I guess, yeah. on, uh, you on the back door, door pass? door number one or door number two? Mm. Great. I, that breaker. feels like a pretty, yeah, I don't know if anybody believes it, but yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was convinced. I feel like you were paid to say that in an advertisement. My man, what's your name? Mo. Mo, and you are? Muhammad, for sure. Stop Kid. it. Stop it. <laughs> It's all right, bro. We're out now. You can say it. Come on. Yeah, I was thinking it too, but I was going to let Ramin take that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he goes, good call. It would have strangled you. Um, all right. <laughs> With my snake. Um, all right. So, <clears throat> Mo and Katie, uh, what is the, what is the uh, gotta have it for a girl early on, and what's the gotta have it for a guy? Uh, you know, could be uh, physical or emotional. Could be like, I need a listen, and he could be like, I need to fucking have back rubs. You know. <laughs> Do the two of you have a non-negotiable? How long have you been together? We'll start there. Almost a year. Almost a year. So you know very much about uh, what, what each of you wants. Uh, this piece of shit's been dating five and a half years and uh, still, hasn't, still hasn't asked the question. Did you hear that? She said he's mm -hmm. on a timeline. He's got six months or she's out. She, we all thought it was uh, uh, to propose, but now I'm wondering maybe it is anal that she's waiting on. <laughs> She's like, put it in, you motherfucker. What are you, gay? Like, I don't know how you ask. Me. What are you, gay? Yeah, I don't know. What do you, wait, it was so funny. What are you, gay? Put it in my butt. <laughs> like, that's so funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. Five years, yeah, I don't know. So you gave him the ultimatum. Well, so I turned 30 in six months. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, because, yeah, 30 is, girls have put a lot of pressure on that number as far as like, because if I have a kid over 30, the kid will come out 
with a syndrome, right? Is that, that's kind of, and that's, isn't that part of the thinking? No, it's not. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Ramin, I've heard that 30 is like a very uh, special time and p post that for children. Yeah. So children is not the driving force here. It's just you want to feel, do you have, now let me ask you this, are a lot of your uh, homies uh, in uh, this world settling down and you're kind of like mm. watching and looking in the rear Peer pressure. Mirror, and they're yeah. back there all married and happy. Yeah. You've yeah. attended, you're always the bridesmaid? Always the bridesmaid. Yeah, Fuck yeah. that, okay. Well, yeah. Now, how do we know or not know that he is plotting something uh, intricate and, uh, and amazing? Yeah, what's your name, by the way, dude? Pierre. Pierre? Pierre? Yeah. Guys, welcome to stage, Pierre. I'm kidding, just sit right there. <laughs> <laughs> Pandy Mering, fucking do it! All right. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't it be great if he was planning it for tonight and after all this public discussion, he's like, yeah. not doing it. <laughs> you guys fucked up my moment! Yeah, Pierre, it's... Hey, man, it's definitely not happening. Don't do it in a basement <laughs> of a comedy club. What are you, gay anal? Yeah. You want to know something crazy, what? dude? I gay anal, by the way, great band name. Go oh, ahead. so good. Yeah. I proposed to my wife on this stage. Did you really? I really did. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and she'll never forgive me for it. She, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, she hates it. She hates oh, really? It. Yeah, yeah. Well, well the... she was just here in, like, yoga pants. And, uh, and then she didn't want to, like, be up here. And, right. Uh, and I, and I, I did it anyway. The public yeah. proposal is not always a, a fan fave. But I think this, in front of, like, it's, uh, you know, uh, relate to what you're doing. To both. Maybe like, how you we... met. Uh, a lot of how we yes. like we really jam on comedy. We love comedy. This is my home club, and I was like, it'll be really cool. And uh, if you did it at the show. Washington Nationals uh, Stadium on the jumbotron, I Buddy, think that you're tapping into me right now because the was story that your of my option? my first marriage I proposed at Camden Yards. Yeah. <laughs> It was the Orioles Cubs game, first time they ever played together. Uh, no jumbotron though. Okay, well uh, then yeah. that's fine. Yeah, yeah, we did. Because I that. think that's maybe one of the most uh, unromantic things to just be like, yeah. hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was at a I was at a game one time, and uh, you know sometimes they'll like a special message will pop up. Yeah. And it said, "Will you marry me, Elizabeth?" Yep. And there and there was a silence. Like there was there wasn't specific enough, right? <laughs> Like, like, how love many Elizabeths like, were in the stadium no like, what shit. the fuck? Like, we just met. But there's only yes. one Elizabeth is being proposed to, and maybe a lot disappointed, a lot of them confused. It was fucking crazy. That's amazing. It was crazy. We were all like, oh, my God, who's Elizabeth? And yeah, no she context. She had to wonder, too. Yeah. Also, those messages are only up for, like, four seconds, so... <laughs> it was up there a while. It, oh, it was, was up long enough. Okay. And then they eventually showed the Elizabeth. And yeah. A lot of Elizabeths were like, thank God. I Yikes, thought. dude. Is there a dream proposal that you've thought up? I think that's the way that the yeah, wedding is. How would is you up. envision it happening within the next six months, would you say? <laughs> oh, Vegas. Wow. So you haven't thought about this at all? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I have a QR code for my Amazon wish list if anybody in here wants to bring it up. We got that. Well, that's Wonderful. got it. Now, is Pierre the type of guy that enjoys a uh, some structured plan, or is he like, hey, let me, let me come up with my own strategy? I, just, I don't know if you're French, but your name's fucking Pierre, and I think you're one of the Ratatouille rats. So, um, Comes that's off. all I could think about after yeah. you said Pierre. It was, uh, it was either Jeff. <laughs> okay, so Pierre, are you a guy that's like, let me fucking come up, like, let me be the man and have the plan, stand, yeah. Yeah, okay, well, yeah. I think this, you know, and permission to speak freely, feels like a great opportunity to, what was your name? Leah. Leah, fucking have a little faith, as George Michael said, and fucking believe in Pierre to come up with some baguette, sort of, <laughs> to fucking, oh, I don't know what I'm, that's not a real accent. <laughs> and so, just to have a little faith. I feel, I'm looking into his eyes, I can, the light's kind of, you know, making it tough yeah. to fully see how much he is sweating right now, yeah. but, uh, Hey Pierre, would you mind? Would you would you come up here a sec, dude? I want to. Oh. He's had enough. For real? Let's make him a star. All right, let's make him a star. Would you mind actually? Can I put Pierre here for a sec? Yeah, for I want to sure. do an exercise with Pierre. It'll be quick, bud. Yeah, yeah. Good God, what are you six nine? Get the yeah. fuck out of here. Come here. And but what was it, Leah? I love it. Is it Leah? Was that, was that your name? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, I, sorry, I just need to borrow him for a sec. What's up, dude? Oh my gosh, you're a good looking fella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Right over there. Hell yeah, I'd want What's you up, to marry dude? me too. How are you? Jesus Christ, <laughs> see you, man. Okay. Handsome dude. Bro, uh, you've taken a lot of heat already. It's early, uh, but I wanted to <laughs> wanted to see uh, wanted to just see if you'd participate in a in a heart opening exercise with me, real quick. And uh, Adam, of course, uh, is uh, is going to remain on stage with me as my guest therapist this evening. So in tandem, we want to maybe try to open your heart up a little bit. I've got an exercise here. Since we're getting to know the two of you so well, this may help accelerate things, but also keep some anonymity for you. This is a exercise called love letters that I do. It's a, uh, a fill-in-the-blank letter, pre-written, so you don't have to actually write any details. And all I'm looking for from you is the truth about your current relationship. <laughs> the tr What's the matter? What kind of questions is he worried I'm gonna ask? I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, French ones? I don't know. French, French. <laughs> Yeah, no, don't be you're worried. Fine. It's just simple facts yeah, dude, about basic your shit. loving relationship with Leah. Uh, no big deal. Don't worry about it. All right. It begins very simply. Uh, it's an old letter, so some of the language is, uh, you know, poetic. But you just give me the answers. My dearest, <laughs> Leah. You better say the right fucking name. First of all, I better. Wow. That was a close one. I very close to in. being a really shitty Sunday for everybody. <laughs> He's like Ma Marguerite. Oh shit. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, my dearest Leah, of course. Uh, uh, your name in Christ vibrates in my vessel. This is an old letter, whatever. Uh, your name in Christ vibrates in my vessel in a way that speaks clearly that it was always my own destiny. That's very sweet of you to say, Pierre. <laughs> While my birth name is Pierre, as we know, do you recall the nickname you blessed me with so many moons ago? My heart nearly explodes each time you whisper. She calls me Osito. Like, uh... Say the rest of that into the mic. What is it? Oh, into the mic? Oso, like a bear. So osito means bear in Spanish. Okay. So she calls you bear a lot. Can you oh, yeah. can you give us yes. an can you give us a, an osito growl into the mic? <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. What do you sound like when you come? Let's yeah. hear. <laughs> Here, I'll, st I'll start it off. I'll show you what I sound like when I come. <laughs> yeah, sorry. What is uh, what is um? It's pretty similar. Just being honest. Uh, now it's your turn. Now it's your turn, dude. It cannot be worse than that. <laughs> no, it's yeah, not happening. That one's not happening. Okay. All right. All right. Can I, can I take a gander of what I think uh, Osito uh, coming Osito. sounds yeah, like? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Oh man. Uh, Leo, was that accurate? Was that pretty? Was that pretty on point? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. Very good. Uh, so uh, Osito. That's a that's a pretty sweet nickname. It's a cool nickname. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Do you have one for Leo? Uh, she's my Osito, my little bear. Oh my God. So oh, sweet. Oh, oh, I was looking for the nickname she calls you. Do we have that? So you're not the bear. She's the little bear. Oh, you're Osito, and she's Osita. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Generally, when two bears are fucking, it doesn't look like you guys, by the way. You guys, can someone Google that? So we... I got it, dude. I'll send you a link. Thank you, yeah. buddy. <laughs> uh, I sit by this flickering candlelight. My thoughts are swept away to the currents of nostalgia. My darling, how long is it we've been entangled now? We know it's five and a half years. We'll, we'll move forward. <laughs> My love, the first time we met was at... Um... At a bar in Baltimore. At a bar in Baltimore? Do you remember the name of the bar? I don't. Mm, um, <laughs> what did you say? Do you remember? Oh, yeah, your, your, your opening line? She, she tripped and fell in front of me. And, uh, <laughs> Bro, if that's your move, like, that's, that's, that's Osito's move. Just we, whoop. Yeah, oh, we, my gosh. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> Another girl fell. <laughs> Can we get the security cam of how many Osito trips have been recorded at the federal bar in Baltimore? Yeah, yeah, he's just injuring women. He's a, a, a regular at the ER, and all the doctors are like, fucking Osito. <laughs> Who is it this week? <laughs> he's the Florence Nightingale of, where are you from, the Philippines? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not good with names. I, uh, okay, great. So we were at a bar, and cool. uh, you approached, she, well, she tripped, rather. She tripped. And you, as, like the gentleman you clearly are. Yeah. Yep. Helped her you, up. You held the microphone to your face, and you Helped said... <laughs> Helped her up, introduced myself. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Old school. That is old school. 
I guess so. It's out of like a Meg Ryan, Tom Hanks rom-com, yeah? Wait, so how about this? You picked her up and then was there like a moment where you, she was just like, you know how like in those rom-coms, the girl yeah. like, let's say, you know, oh, t fucking shit. <laughs> and then you go, and then here, pick me up and say maybe what, like here, let's have, oh, yeah, this is how I think it, recreate. this is how I want to think it went down. Yeah. Wait, let me trip again, ready? Yeah. Yeah, I know, Christine. Well, yeah, I'm, are you, so you're not on Ozempic? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Did you see her fall? Oh, oh shit, she's cute. Oh, come here. Hey, wow, you're big. <laughs> Have you always been this big? <laughs> I, I, oh, sorry, okay, all right, yeah. all right, I thought we were gonna do more. All right, I um, like, well, and scene. Adam Ray, everybody, Adam Ray and Osito. So I guess my point was, was there that fucking, when you stood up, you know, like yeah. you put your hair and then you guys lock. Yeah. Yeah, the Prince Eric Ariel moment, yeah. Yeah. There was? Let's fucking go, that's what I was getting to. Hell Give yeah, it up, dude. that's a sweet moment, oh, come yeah. on. That's... It is sweet. I do want to note though, crowd, I don't know if you heard, first of all, you jumped right into character. That was fucking dope. Yeah, you, you were so good at being you, dude. I became a character, I was like, oh, I'm his friend. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't have friends this good looking, this is crazy. <laughs> And, but what he said was, oh shit, she fell, stayed here, and then repeated, oh shit, she's cute, and then went over to her. Like if she'd been some hog, she would have just. Yeah, laid on the ground. Yeah. Where she belongs. Just, yeah. Like, fucking, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And his friends are back here, oh, see, toe. Oh, see, toe. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, one of them in the back goes, rah! <laughs> Go get her, dog. All right, so we, uh, we fell at the Federal uh, Hill bar. We picked her up. Eyes met. Uh, and, and you chatted the rest of the night, I assume. But love remind me of our first date. Our very first rendezvous was at... Um, uh, the casino in Baltimore. Oh, hell yeah. We went out to dinner. Awesome. Casino Baltimore. <laughs> Why'd you... What was that? He was, was like, it was a long was like time remember ago. that, bitch? Hell yeah. Remember that? It was a good night. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting because the next line says, uh, I dote upon that moment so fondly because it was the first time we ever... Did it all. <laughs> Did it Whoa, all. let's go. Really? Let's go. Really, all. Did you hear the anal conversation earlier? Yeah. Like, all-encompassing? Is that what we're... No, anal yet, yeah. Not yet, not until after marriage. That's yep. what they say. That's, That's what the Bible girl. says. Hold on to her. That's what the Bible says, or so I've heard. Um, yeah. Wow, doing it all. But that means uh, something different to everybody. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, my man, your ponytail less tonight, but yeah. you might have uh, a pretty good grasp on what, uh, what it all means like. So if you don't mind just sharing for the group, give us two of the things on your do-it-all list. Yeah, going down, but you know what? It ain't anal for sure. Wow. Right, wow. let's try somebody else. I feel like, Mo, you might, yeah. Definitely not what I thought you were gonna say. All right, um, thanks for coming out. Mo, uh, doing it all means, could mean what to somebody. And you don't have to uh, say you, but doing it all could mean what? Going all the way, fucking, you know? Yeah. All, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Going all the way, fucking, dude. We're fucking all the way, dude. Roof, bathtub, kitchen, mom's yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It could have meant emotionally. It could have meant emotionally, yeah. Yeah. But now, all the way. All the fucking way. Good cool. for you, dude. Hell yeah. At the, uh, at the MGM out there. Very good. Uh, in conclusion, Pierre, and we'll let you off the hook here. You've been a hero uh, so far. Uh, it says, in conclusion, my love, pray tell, how is your mother? You know well the matriarch that brought you into this world is dear to me, and even outside the distance of your ears, I always describe your mother as... Um... <laughs> She's amazing. She's amazing. Uh -huh. She's amazing. Is your mom here tonight? No. <laughs> yeah. Guys, welcome to the stage. <laughs> Mama Bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Yours sweet. with unwavering devotion, Osito. Osito Very good, everybody. my Come man. On. What a sweetheart. You're Thank a legend, you, dude. Thanks for coming up, man. You're a hero, dude. Thank you, man. What are you drinking out there? You drinking? Mango heat. Mango heat. Fuck, oh. dude. The, 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 the cocktail of the bear. <laughs> Mango heat. God, you fuck like you drink, huh? God. Mango heat. There's yeah. only one thing you could have said in that moment, and that was it. I did not expect that at all. There's I, no way he was going to be like, yeah, you know, Sprite and uh, vodka. <laughs> no, he just made up a fucking drink. Mango heat. What comes in that? Uh, Osito does. I think <laughs> just... Right. We'll be right back. <laughs> uh, Mango Heat, that sounds great. I did not expect it to be 
He could have been like apple martini, and I yeah. might have been less surprised. I think I rented yeah. Mango Heat in high school. <laughs> Sounds like a dirty film. Where it's like, you know, in a world, <laughs> one man, one woman. Yeah. My name is Osito. <laughs> Starring Chris Kattan. <laughs> yeah. As Mango. As Mango Heat. <laughs> All right, so uh, thank you, Pierre. Guys, give it up for Pierre. Yeah, one Pierre, more time. you're a, that was amazing. You're a gangster, dude. That was a cool, cool move. Very cool. Very cool. What a crowd. You guys are doing great. Uh, uh, House right? You guys feeling good? You guys feeling good? Yeah. Anything you need to add at this point in your set? By the way, look at this dapper couple here in the corner. Yeah, I know. See here under the under here. the Kevin Hart. So you guys look amazing. Yeah, I don't know I do. if you guys could just swing it over. Yeah, my man. What? That's a what? That's your son. Okay, thank Who's you so much. your son? That black gentleman is your son? The fuck yeah, you guys are both looking sharp. Very good, yeah. What, uh, but you brought your mom uh, to couples therapy. What's, uh, what's the occasion there? What, uh, what inspired that? We didn't realize until we got there. Oh, okay. Fair okay. enough. Well, yeah. you're still here, so that bodes well. Hell yeah. What did you think it was gonna be? Yeah. Yeah. But since you guys are here, um, uh, ma'am, what are your views on anal? Great question. I mean, she's here. Yeah. Terrell, was it Tyrell or Terrell? Yeah, he, Terrell's given one of these, and normally in my yeah. past, when a black guy does this to you, you fucking <laughs> shut the fuck up. So, thanks for coming out. Let's move on. Tyrell and his mom, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Awesome. All right. Uh, by the way, Adam's not heard any of these. He's just here to help, uh, uh, just because uh, out of uh, off the top of his head, and uh, he's going to process these things. We do. We both did a lot of training before this session, so expect a lot of high-level professional answers here. The first one says, "How do I get?" Excuse me. Uh, as they thought they were home alone, and you walk in on your partner handling their own business. Mm. Okay. Okay. That you know what I mean? It means, Which means uh, yeah, yeah, taking care of Mo, yourself. I think right. Mo, for fucking all the way. No, They're all the way. Yeah. All the way means jerking off by yourself. Yeah. Um, they thought they were home alone. You walked in on your partner handling their own business. Are you mad? Do you watch? Do you join? Has, has anybody ever actually, has this happened to anybody? Or, or have you walked in on your partner doing this in real life story? My man? Never? You ever masturbated? Never? <laughs> you should try it, bro. You should fucking. in. Right, Adam? Yeah, I think that's the hand you use, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull that bump back. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's um, you. Do, I, I don't know. You, uh, you know, everyone sets the mood differently, right? Some people like music. Some people. Uh, I. I remember I used to live in a um, uh, an apartment two years after college, and uh, there was a homeless guy right outside my place, and he uh, was in the bushes, and he would he would talk to himself a lot, and you're like, oh, how do you know it wasn't to somebody else? Well, it was, he was in the bushes, and uh, and he would scream a lot, and he'd say shit like, you don't even know what time it is, do you? Do you? And you know, I'm in LA, so part of me is like, maybe he's working on a monologue for, uh, <laughs> for an audition, but no, he wasn't, because um, he was naked. And he's in the bushes, and he would do this a lot, and he would do it while I was uh, sometimes having some me time. And, uh, and he would always seem to time out his screams at the exact moment that I would uh, have my uh, Osito moment. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. and uh, so it's so much so to where I was like, do I now need this to, right. to get to completion? So Pavlovian. as I sat down, I was like, maybe I do. So I'd open the window and be like, get a job, you piece of shit. And he was like, fuck you. And I was like, here we go. You know, so it was, um... anyway, I just think everyone has a different process is what I'm saying. Jared gets it, he's laughing. Um, all right. So, okay. So, so this... a lot of these folks, uh, presumably, if they were to walk in on their person, a yeah. the greatest majority of you in this room said they would join. The highest percentage. Wow. Uh, yeah, 27% Great. said join. Uh, so keep that in mind, uh, those of you out Now, was that guys walking in on the girls? I didn't, I didn't girls, ask, because yeah. gender's a construct, Adam. Grow up. Because it definitely I, uh, looks... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks cooler to walk in on, if you're walking in on a girl. Like, uh, walking in, I don't care if you know them or not. Like, it's just not attractive. We're always so... Like, there's not... <laughs> yeah. Every guy is either like... <laughs> ah! Or... or um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or sitting down doing it, which is worse. So it's like, yeah. but a girl, you know, and I'm not gonna act it out, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's just more sensual. It's like, you, you know, they're on a waterbed and there's fucking, you know, Tony Braxton's Music playing. Is, yeah, yeah, 100%. There's fucking Yankee Doodle candles and, uh, hell yeah. Probably hell yeah. a crystal somewhere. No, it's, <laughs> they're in search for yeah. sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is, uh, you're right. It is a less attractive thing to walk in on. Yeah. But apparently a lot of folks would join. Uh, some folks saying they would, they would get mad. Um, this person wrote, he opens the car door for me every time. I'm not sure how that, is that a metaphor? What does that mean? Opens the car door Has for me. Has anyone heard that? Every time. They may have answered the wrong question. <laughs> the next one says, what's the sweetest little thing he does for you? <laughs> they mixed up the answer. I do yeah. like that being though like a euphemism for hitting the G spot. Yeah. He always knows where to park his Mazda Miata. <laughs> And he opens the door and I get in and then, and then yeah. we go to Costa Mesa. Or, or maybe they answered it realistically and uh, she uh, only comes when the door is open. And she's in there like, it's going forever. And she's like, open the door! And he's like, I got you, babe. And then, bah, fucking. Yeah. Otherwise, she'll squirt right on the door. You don't want that. You don't want that. All right. You hear a couple going at it in the hotel room next to yours. We've all heard that, right? Yeah. I mean, that's uh, everyone has to experience that at some yeah. point. Steve, my mom. You're, you heard your mom? <laughs> what? Is everyone here with their mom tonight? Yeah, that... I think so. <laughs> Wait, you heard your mom in the other room? Yeah. At, at what hotel? Uh, it was like a, a motel, actually. Oh God, that's somehow the worst possible thing yeah. you could have said. Yeah. Yeah. Was she with a client? <laughs> That's fucking funny. Fuck you guys. It's Sunday night, and that was funny and quick, and obviously a joke. And obviously a joke. Yeah. Was that a joke? <laughs> Most aggressive Ed McMahon yeah. of all time. <laughs> Laugh, fuckers! <laughs> Take the giant check, goddammit. Remember Publishers Clearing? Okay. Um, what, uh, okay, your mom at the motel. Those motel walls are not designed to absorb orgasm sounds right no. so you heard did it wake you up or was it like midday and sorry to have to make you fucking relive yeah, this but jesus christ they heard me they heard you oh wait you and your mom were Twins. coming at the same time uh this one queries is it okay to envision someone else during sex crowd no. <laughs> quick yes over here you think so are you here with someone yeah so who are you envisioning? Who are you anyone envisioning? Anyone else? <laughs> Sometimes Sometime. anyone. Fuck yeah. All right. What about a man with no ponytail, but the potential to grow a ponytail? Yeah. yeah. He doesn't like anal, so he doesn't seem fun. Put that on a bumper sticker and email me the link. Hell yeah. He yeah. doesn't do anal, Fuck by it. the way. You, yeah, that's, that, the, you guys should talk. Yeah. yeah. To each their own. Yeah, okay. Uh, wait, now, is there, a, um, is there a method to the madness to being single right now? Is there, uh, I mean, the, the hotel thing, if you were there as a guest by yourself, what would, uh, I guess, what would transpire uh, from your vantage point? Wait, if I'm here somewhere If you're by yourself in a hotel and you hear... Uh, Did you just get here? Where has she been all night? She is... <laughs> She is cranked and ready. Just let me. Oh, you're the on the bench lady. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Hell Wait, yeah. what? What happened? Uh, she sa or earlier said the Seda that she was uh, single, uh, had a few options rolling around, and has a deep bench. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. I think. Now, how many of the players on the bench need batteries, and how many are real life human beings? <laughs> the battery budget is high. Is that what you said? What? Let's go. Is that true? Hold on a second. This is a whole thing. I didn't know you could plug it. Like, you're not even supposed to put a toaster in the bathtub. You bitches are plugging this shit in and purposefully creating moisture? Isn't that... I'd be scared to death. What? Fellas, are we plugging anything in and putting it on our dicks? <laughs> Jumper cables? What are we doing? Are you serious? How long are you masturbating that you need 110 volts at all times? There's lithium ion now. You don't need. Holy shit. Okay, so if Dr. Phil were to assess us, he'd go, well, I don't think the point is to come until you're a cripple, but I do think, <laughs> but maybe it is. We'll be right back. Uh, Wait, wait, that's Dude. fascinating. By the way, good on you. I mean, you know, and you must have built up uh, quite uh, the stamina to be able to withhold such. Yeah, I don't feel right asking the rest of this question. Yeah. Um, what were you going to say? I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, 
hey, you seem like a fucking blast and a Hell sweetheart, yeah. and good stuff's coming your way. Hell yeah. Yeah? Sure. You're so upbeat and positive about it, and that's going to attract uh, a similar vibe. Definitely. Maybe pseudo Seagal. Uh... Pseudo Seagal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get into that. Fuck yeah. What do people say you, by the way, can everyone, do you mind, what's your first name? John, do you mind standing up and just giving a quick 360? Because you're a fucking strapping dude. People need to see. Just straight up, a quick little turn around. You're a fucking That's yeah, a handsome dude. Man. Fully turn around, dude. That's look at a this guy. Yeah. Man. Come on, dude. Hell yeah. You look like Harrison Ford's accountant. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. You're a strapping dude, man. You are. You are. Giving Osito some competition. I like that, bro. Looking good. You look like you make like you make your own coffee. Uh, with your special person, should you say I love you every time you get off the phone? Adam, do you, you do uh, Oh yeah, all the time. Every time. Yeah, my Aunt Shirley, uh, God rest her soul, died at uh, 99. Yep. And, uh, and uh, same as, age as Bob Barker. And she, um, she would never comfortably say I love you back to me. She was just a, definitely like an old school, you know, I'd go, all right, Shirley, I love you. And she'd go, all right. <laughs> and this woman was in, <laughs> yeah. And it really, I was like, all right, I'm fucking, fuck you too, bitch, you know? And, uh, <laughs> No, but she, she was a sweet, she was married to my uncle for no joke, 65 years, and then he got real sick and ended up passing, and she got into this home, and I was like, Shirley, are you dating yet? Are you feeling up to a point to where you're trying to like meet somebody else and, and uh, you know, right off into the sunset with a, with a passenger? And she goes, you know, I've got a sometimes boyfriend. I swear to God. She goes, I have a sometimes boyfriend. I go, Shirley, what the fuck is that? She goes, sometimes we hold hands. And I said, that's the sweetest shit I've heard since Osito said he called his girl Leah Osita. And, <laughs> And then I said, what's the name of your uh, living home boyfriend? And I'm not fucking joking. She goes, Dick. And I go, I didn't ask you why you were dating him. <laughs> to which she goes, oh, stop that. And I go, what is Dick's last name? I swear to God. She goes, Justice. I go, Shirley, you're dating Dick Justice? Wow. Did you meet him before or after he was a detective slash gay porn star from the 40s? <laughs> wow, yeah. yeah. Superhero Dick. I like died. that. All right, guys. I think uh, we're at. Um, we're. I think we're about time where we should get into uh, some some Dr. Phil feedback. Let's do it. You feeling that? Well, let's sure. crank that up, you guys. You feeling like some Dr. Phil feedback? Can I get another cocktail? Is that possible? I think it'll A be tequila. Fun. Oh yeah. What do you got there? A tequila? Yeah. If, if that's possible. Uh, but by the way, give it up for the staff here at the Improv. Yeah, come on. The best. One of the best. The best all weekend. Thank you guys so much. John, Thank would you, you so uh, take a shot of tequila with me? Okay, great. I would love a, a tequila on the rocks and then a shot for John and I, if that's possible. Hell yeah, dude. Shots, please. Say it again. We said, we were just repeating your oh. order. Oh, you. oh I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. He has a microphone, by the way. I don't know if you guys... <laughs> that's sweet. That. Are yeah. you guys in relationships? Hell yeah. Yeah, because you guys feel very, um, that's a very supportive move and just having someone's back type of mentality that you just displayed, yeah. Super sweet. Uh, who are you dating? This is my boyfriend right here. Okay, and what's his name? Roberto. Roberto. And where'd you guys meet? Uh, at work. At work. And where the fuck is that? Servers, okay. And, and at what establishment, because this could be, uh, you could be serving coffee, okay? Uh, or at uh, or uh, McDonald. You uh, are you fucking serious? Uh, okay, so someone was slinging uh, bottomless breadsticks, and someone was was uh, saying, uh, "Is this is this enough? Yeah, enough cheese, enough cheddar cheese." Okay, so who who introduced who to who? Well, he ignored me, so then I wanted him. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Some guys like to play hard to get, and some guys like to just play hard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Roberto, why were you playing hard to get? And what's your name, sweetheart? Sapphire. Okay. What's your, what's, what's your non-stage name? <laughs> when you're not working between the hours of 11 and 2 a.m., who the fuck are you? What does your mother call you on your birthday? <laughs> Amy Sapphire? Your last name, Sapphire? Am I in a hidden camera show right now? <laughs> <laughs> Called Strippers Gotcha? Okay. Um, <laughs> That's your birthstone. I love that. I wish I knew what my birthstone was, so. 
don't hate the player, hate the game. Uh, okay, Roberto, so you met Sapphire, and you, uh, you were interested, okay, we can tell that about you, but you said, not right now, and that made Sapphire go, well, fucking now, bitch. So, Roberto, why were you playing it so cool? That was so... <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Honesty is the key to longevity, and longevity is the key to what, John? Uh, I don't know. Anal, motherfucker. <laughs> We've been rounding the bases all night long, setting up the best anal joke of all time, and you couldn't fucking fall through. Thank you, Jeremy. You know what? Give me that shot, you piece of shit. You fucking blew it. You fucking blew it. I'm gonna pour it on your head or give it to fucking uh, Steve Jobs' nephew. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck? Bart Simpson's dad. Okay. Uh, look like a Simpsons character. There you go, John. Enjoy. All right. So, Roberto. Roberto, can I call you Roberto? <laughs> okay, Roberto. So, you thought she was too pretty. Now, uh, I like that uh, appreciation for her existence. Sapphire, did you know this information or is this news to you now? Okay, but you... How did it, you know that? Great question. <laughs> Everybody knows he Roberto already, thinks I'm hot, so... He already didn't want me, so I already knew I was up there. Why not? Can another... Uh, yeah, what the fuck? Can anyone translate? I'll give anyone $50 if they can tell me what Sapphire just said in stripper code. <laughs> She's an Olive Garden 10. Yeah, and we'll take it from here, sir. But I think that there's something... Cheers, John, to John. Hey, everybody, to John right now, okay? To the man of the hour, to the man of the hour. And Ramin, how about Ramin over here one more time, too, huh? How did John get more applause than me, that piece of shit? I've been, been working up here, he's just sitting down there, fucking hanging out, anyway. All right, we gotta get to the yeah. bottom of this. Yeah, and that, we'll... It's curious, it's yeah. curious. Ramin, yeah. do you have anything uh, about... I just think psychologically it's interesting to talk for a second about, like, is this, like, a lot of... Uh, everybody wants kind of what they can't have, so to speak. True. I guess, and, and that's that's a game that ends at what age, ladies? Any age? Does that ever end? No. Never. So we should. So the best advice to a dude that wants to date a woman that he thinks is out of her league is to ignore her, and then maybe she'll like drop her standards a little bit. Heavy on the maybe. Heavy on the maybe. Heavy on the maybe. Okay, that sounds like a lyric to a Shania Twain song. Yeah, seriously. That somebody in here got divorced to 48 100%. hours ago. Yeah. Now, Sapphire, uh, what type of fellows have you dated in the past? Uh, well, I've only had one boyfriend who Okay, what, did he also work at the OG? <laughs> or was he a Cheesecake Factory fella? You seem like a franchise slut. Is that true to form? Oh, don't fucking owe me now. It's Sunday, bitch. <laughs> Tyrell and his mom are gone. They're off the 69 in an Uber pool. And I can say that because I have black friends, all right? <laughs> I'm having a good time. All right, uh, Saf <laughs> Sapphire. Uh, okay, one guy before this, and he, and he was what again? A harbor freight guy. A harbor freight guy. Harbor freight. Harbor freight. Yeah. Is that what you meant? Harbor freight? The, the tool and uh, like manufacturing production company? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. so we've made a little bit of a switch up, yeah? You went from a guy who was uh, using his hands to a guy, well, who was still using his hands, but to grind pepper and shake up, uh, <laughs> shake up ravioli squares before you microwave them, yeah. That's what they do. Google it, okay. Yeah. Um, well, good, yeah. good on you. So you guys, uh, how far down the line are we looking? We're, we're a year and a half. A year and a half, okay. Any That's advice nice. uh, for them? 40 years of marriage, what are we looking at? Keep, keep the humor, yeah, yeah. okay. I, I think uh, based on the evidence of how you got together, uh, Roberto, I think you should continue to ignore her. I think <laughs> worked the first time. <laughs> Thank you so much, best of luck. One more time for Hello. Sapphire and Roberto. They figured it out before we could. Sir, where the fuck are you going right now? Where? He drank, drank too much, well I've been there, player. Good for you, dude. I blacked out in uh, Minnesota about a month ago, woke up to an email from myself to myself. <laughs> and it was just a picture of Muhammad flexing in a Hakeem Olajuwon jersey. We do this show here every other month. Guys, give it up for the amazing Adam Ray! Thank you. My name's Ramin, we love you. Good night, go home. Have sex and go all the way. Good night.